Hi. Okay, so for this tutorial, you're going to need. Uh, I'm using emerald, which is the Sculpey Souffle. I've got some Sonic Metallic in Rust, and I'll be using a black. So that's all you're going to need color wise, I think. Um, so initially, I need to make myself um, a mold, a cabochon in a heart. So I'm just going to use this mold and I'm just going to create an emerald heart. And then as soon as that's done, that's just going to go in the oven. And uh, that'll be the base then for what I'm going to make. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this off, level it off, and put it in the oven. And then we can start when it comes out. So while the heart's cooking, um, I've got some rust done out on a number three. And it's enough to cater for that heart, okay? which is going to go inside the heart here, so it's smaller. Also, I've got some black here on a zero. It's only Fimo soft, which is rather firm, but beggars can't be choosers. So I'm going to roll this through um, on a zero because I've got one of these cutters. So I'm just going to texture this ready. OK, so that's plenty. And then with this one here, I've also got three heart shape crystals, small ones. So I'm just going to cut the heart out ready. So it'll be a lot easier if it's done and I can just apply it. Just put the rest away. And then the next thing I want to do, also I'm going to need a tiny little bit of... Um, the emerald green again just for the I'm going to just try and make a little um, shamrock here I don't want it too low I'm not too worried about marking the clay at the moment because I'm going to be texturing it okay so try and get them central if you're using these, you might have, I mean, you might have a cane or something else you can use, but I just want an emblem. And this is quite um, personal to me, I suppose, doing this. Because I'm 100% Irish blooded, but also I've been doing ancestry for about 10, 15 years. And um, I've learned so much. So it's almost like, I don't know, in honour of them. Way my head works. Okay, so I'm trying to get them about the same. I think that's about right in central. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm, I'm, this is actually a cuticle thing, apparently. It came with some nail files, so I thought, well, I'll utilise it. So it kind of gives it a rough, um, I don't know, just suits me less pattern more I don't know um I just look at the way like my granddad was dressed and the clothes he wore and it just seems better so I'm literally just Cooking all this out, probably won't even put it all on the heart. Oh, there's an air bubble, but it's just underneath. It's getting, getting gone. Okay, and then that's that done and ready. No, it's not. I've still got to add the little emerald stem. So I just want to create a little stem for the bottom. I'm wondering whether to do the. I think I'm actually going to go for a slightly darker green, and I've got some dirty green I mixed here. I was trying black with it and half mixed it and I think that might actually suit better to use that than the no it won't because I think it's all right here I go <laughs> never mind as long as it gets done right so I've got the emerald here the same color I used for the heart and I just want to cut myself out <laughs> just for the sake of making it easier I'm going to roll it on a number three I was just going to do it by hand, and I shouldn't do that when I'm doing this, should I? Um, I just want to sort of try and cut out 
the shape of the stem. See if I can get it about right or not. Let's soon find out. So with St. Patrick's Day coming up, it would be nice to do this. Or maybe that side would be better off. Yeah, I'm just going to put that side. No, I'm going to round that off a bit more. So I'm just trying to round it a bit and not overdo it now you're gonna have to move over too far oh i'm gonna be doing this again aren't i i love doing intricate things but i don't have the best um fingers for it right i think that'll do okay so i'm just gonna move that out of the way just show it you up close so you can see so that's ready and then the next thing is I basically want I think I don't know if I need more than the heart size and this heart and um, this cutter here is more or less right for for this but it is domed Um no it's going to be fine I'm just going to find an area I know you probably can't see much at the moment but I'm trying to make sure the areas are similar the pattern okay so that's that done and then I'm going to be rolling this again onto number three to put the heart onto as we sort of create what's above but for now I shall be back as soon as it's out of the oven Okay, so it's all out of the oven and I've just rolled out some black on a number three and what I've done is put some crepe paper behind because that way whatever we do it's going to reinforce the pattern on the back rather than um, have it squash. So the first thing I want to do is put this heart onto this heart. Now the only thing I've done um, off camera is I got a little bit of gold mica and I just literally ran it along the top there and just around, just around the shamrock can you see? So the whole thing's not covered and now i've got to find a way to place this on where i want it i want to i want to keep quite a lot of the green showing at the top so i don't want it too high but i do want it straight um mim, mim, mim. Let's see no that's just off center so i'm gonna have to just move that slightly and hope it, it doesn't matter if i misshape it a little bit because most of it's been covered but i need to make sure the central step bit stays fine and there just in case okay so let me just check on camera if that looks central there too i think it's central enough to do the job it's slightly over at the bottom actually so Let's see if that helps and like I said, I'm not worried about it going off shape. I'm more concerned about this being central down the middle. Let's get a little ball tool and check I'm happy that that's in the right place. Yep, I am. Okay. So I'll just trim that off there anyway because I won't need it. Okay, now for the next piece. Right, this is where I'm going to place this on top of this, which I said was a number three with crepe paper underneath, so it doesn't squash as we apply pressure, or it doesn't squash any pattern on the back. So I've added that there, just giving it a little bit of pressure. Now for this piece. So what I want to do here, is I want to cut it down the middle, not quite straight, just a small wavy line. And then I need to try and add it. I'm going to give it a slight pull to take it up to the top because hang on this isn't going right right okay slight pull there just to take it up to the top 
it's actually not wide enough there. Do you know what? I'm going to redo this. I'm not happy with that at all. I'm going to redo it bigger and I can cut it away as I need to. That might be what I did last time. I've already made one. I'm trying to remake it um, a little bit better. That's the initial one that I did. And I'm trying to redo it a little bit better this time. So I'm just going to roll this again through with my... Um, I'm going to roll it to a number two and put it back through on this and hope it'll be big enough. I'm going to go that way so I've got more width. Sorry, I'm gabbling away to myself. I tend to think out loud a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to redo what I did before. <laughs> Only this time I'm going to leave it much wider at the sides. And still straight down. Am I on camera still? Yeah, still straight down roughly the middle of this. Um, no, saying that. So I'm thinking on my feet a little bit and that always causes me to chat away. Okay, that's better. So I place that there for now and this one's going to come in from this side. Actually, I might move it out a little bit. It's a little bit... I don't know what's going on in my head, but I'm kind of trying to make it in sort of a recreation way. Like this is almost a shawl. Um be heightened a little bit now. Let's bring that over a bit so we don't want to see um and that one needs to go out a little bit doesn't it? It's a little bit too worrying. that's better. Right now I'm happy with this. So I'm just gonna use the flat side of my knife and ease it all into the heart. Sorry my dogs there's someone outside. Same here. Let's get all that removed. We can start to create a shape. If I mess up on the sides, I can always um, patch it up, and so far, so good. Round it off evenly each side, and then two seconds. Okay, so I'm just trying to cut the back in away, and then we can just focus. I'll tidy up the sides and that after, but um, for the minute we've got the main pattern, and I just want to check everything's where it needs to be. So I think that's okay. I'll do for now. I just want to curl these edges up a little bit. Now, one thing I forgot to do before I cut it, but I should be able to do it now, is I'm going to make a couple of little holes here. I need to make sure they're relatively even. So I'm going to put one here, try and get it on the same place on the other side. At least I've got two little holes there. That needs pulling down a bit now, and that needs going up to make them even. Right, second lot. Right in there, and then I need to get it in exactly the same place here. Because you're watching, I'm going to go wrong. That 
to do. Okay, so now I just want to roll some black clay. That's way too thick. I'm just trying to make um, a couple of little laces to go across. I don't want it too thin because it'll just break. So I'm trying to get it as, as thin as I can without it getting thin. <laughs> I know what I mean. As thin as I can without it becoming too fragile. I think that's the point I'm trying to make. So another little pull right, I think that's about right so now I've got to guesstimate where this will go if it's too small it can be changed so I'm slipping that into that hole and I'm just tucking it in to secure it into the clay on the other side and I'm going to do the same with this one So it gives the impression of a piece of string going across to do it up. Now for the second one, I need that a little bit longer. It's probably too long. It's probably too short now, but hey. <laughs> it's a bloody hair. Go away, hair. More trouble than you're worth. Right, so I'm just going to ease that in there so it's quite solid and then uh, this one needs just to have a tiny little bit cut off of it so I push it in but I'm also pushing it into the clay so it's securing it so you don't want it breaking away and I'm just going to gently flatten them both as evenly as I can. Okay, so I don't know if you can even see it there. If I put it up close, you can see much clearer what I've done. Okay, so now I'm just going to tidy up the sides and then I'm going to put this back in the oven. So I'll see you when that's done. Right, so it's out of the oven and I've just gone around the sides with some soft clay to tidy it up. And I'm just going to run some black through on a zero with my with my texturizer and I'm folding that over I don't know what number it'll be I can only suggest you I'd say don't have it any less than a two for a bale and this is definitely more than a two it's probably taking it down to yeah about a two I think so I just need to I want something that te textures nicely so I'm just being mindful of where the I want a pattern so I'm going to take it from there I've just done a little cutter and that's now double sided and I want that to go round about there so I'm just going to add some liquid clay and I will apply a little bit of pressure Sorry, my alarm went off. I'm just applying pressure. I'm trying to be mindful to make sure that is straight. And central. And I want to check how it looks on the back. center I have to play around with it a bit to get it central um, still a bit lopsided come on
I'll have to reshape it a bit. Yeah, I think, no, it's still over that way a bit. Right, I think that's about central. So I'm just going to... Still want the back to look nice. I'm just going to try and make sure I tidy it up. And I'm just going to add in some little divot holes. There you go. So it's still got a sort of a tidy back. Obviously, we're going to cover it. And then I'm going to put that back in the oven. And I prefer to do it in stages like this. Obviously, you might want to do it in one. I'm also going to use now to put a hole there. Okay. So that's going back in the oven now. I shall see you in a minute to finish it off. Okay, so it's out. I, did, I had to make one little change for mine. You don't need to do this, but across the top of the green heart, just along the ridge, I wasn't happy with it, so I just put a very thin line of this just along the top and then put a ball and dotted it. So just so you know, so that's just very slightly different. Now... I'm going to be using Antique Gold Row and Buff for this, as I did on my practice one. So I've got a brush, um, it's not really something you can do with your fingers, there's too many curves. So I've got a brush, but also I've got a cocktail stick for any really awkward bits. So I'm going to start off with that just to do this little bit that I added up here. So I find with a cocktail stick you've got a lot more control than you would have with a brush. Doesn't mean I'm not going to mess up but I'll try not to I mean even though you you haven't got this bit to do um I'm still just going to show you how I use the cocktail stick if you do it this way it just runs over the top bits then I should also be using it on the inner part of this the rim so I'm just going to do all of this um, with this I'm going to start off with the what I call the seams the bits that I just want gold along the ridges which is just the edge of the texture where I curled it up just gives you sort of a rugged line but I'd rather use I mean use a brush by all means if you're confident but I just find with brushes you often get that odd stray hair and it messes up. So, plus this is supposed to look kind of antique-y, maybe. Um, so, it suits me fine. Plus I can get in areas a bit better with it. So yeah, cocktail stick can come in handy. So I'll just do the one side on air because you can see what I'm doing and then I could be a bit more ruthless once I've done this bit so I'm going to do that down both sides you can see it clearly and I'm going to use the brush the, the pattern and just gloss over the top so I get that I can go over it get my finger if I want it deeper but I don't want it too deep I'm just trying to catch the edges I want it to retain some black because I was looking for gold this rust and um, black and green so I don't want to lose all the black I've done it a bit heavier on the initial one I made, so you can make your own mind up which you prefer. Right, I'm going to finish this one off screen and then I'll be back. Okay, so it's all finished. I've just finished putting the rub and buff around, given it 10 minutes and I gave it a buff. And I put it on the back as well. And then I just put this cord through. So, that's my little tribute to my heritage. 
okay hope you like it thanks for watching bye